life that we lost. We are on the same thing. Every My name is Abinako. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I want to share with you knowledge. 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 Knowledge, they say, is power. So it has the power to liberate you or it has the power to enslave you. Knowledge. A man's life is reflected in the quality of knowledge that he or she uh, possesses. A person's life is reflected in the quality of knowledge that uh, the person possesses. In this life, from almost everything, the challenges that we meet, the difficulties that we meet, our main problem is the absence of knowledge. I, I think there are two extremes of, uh, of, of scenarios or, of people where one end interprets everything out of the reach of knowledge. So they say that anything that happens beyond what they know must be with some powers that they cannot explain. And there is the other side that tries to explain things with facts, with truth, with fears. What I understand is that those who are on the side of knowledge of truth have better results of life than those who say that everything is beyond them so as we have it god gave us the mind and what we put on our mind liberates us or enslaves us or enslaves us knowledge is life knowledge is life you cannot do what you don't know. These are principles. These are eternal principles of life. Knowledge expands your world. The knowledge that you have expands the world that you have. As a matter of fact, my world is the knowledge that I process every day. And your world is the same. Everything that I do, they come out of what I know. Now, the beauty about knowledge is that... Um, Every one of us, our spirit, our soul is linked to a sea of knowledge. And that's why sometimes you're saying some things, you're talking to somebody, and later on you go to um, look at what you said, and you're like, oh, how, how did I say these things? Because the essence is that, especially those of us who go to radio stations or TV stations or do YouTube, sometimes some things that you say, you go back to listen, and you are amazed as, 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 as in what came out of you. Because all, all of us, we are linked to unlimited access uh, to knowledge. You know, unlimited access to knowledge. Skill, you cannot build skill without knowledge. The foundation of skill, skill is built out of knowledge. You know, skill is built out of knowledge. Anything that you know, you have to learn something and then you, you build an expertise in that knowledge one of the areas that you need to have is knowledge of self you have to know yourself you have to know your strength your weakness you have to know your your blessings you have to know the, the talents that you have you have to know what makes you um, advantage what, what the blessings that you have you have to know that a lot of people don't know you have to know yourself as an african some people believe that the african is inferior the african is a Cares some, you know, and that means that the knowledge that they have about themselves as Africans is defeating, is enslaving. Knowledge liberates you, or knowledge enslaves you. The option is yours. I, I encourage you to choose that which liberates you. You cannot experience freedom without knowledge. Knowledge is a seed <laughs> of greatness, the seed of change, is a seed of, uh, of development. You cannot see progress in anything, constructive, systematic progress in anything without knowledge. The, the greatest way to liberate the people is to enlighten them, is to bring knowledge of their greatness to them. If I want to keep you under bondage, I will hide the great knowledge of self from you. The world's economy is run on ignorance. You know, the world's economy is run um, on ignorance. And that's why most people, the lack of knowledge they have about finance has enslaved them. So they work all their lives and they have nothing to show. They have money, they use it to buy things that will never bring them financial freedom. You know, they go to buy houses or they build houses, they buy cars. They, 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 they opt for things based on the knowledge that they have on those. 
You know, so anything that has enslaved you, anything that makes your life frustrating, you know, your, your life, you do, you're not happy with your life. It's not because you are worried that another person is not doing well. You, yourself, you, you feel uh, hemming, you feel um, caging, you feel like you're not in charge of your life. The problem is the knowledge that is available to you. The knowledge that is available to you. So how to acquire knowledge? You need to know that knowledge is in books, knowledge is in people, knowledge is in videos, knowledge is in seminars, knowledge is in your friend, it's in your parents, it's in your child, knowledge is in, is in everywhere that you go that they teach you, knowledge is in nature. Find out. You have to be intentional about acquiring knowledge because that actually is what your life is about. Life is about learning. Life is about equipping yourself. If they have two trees, if they tell you to cut a tree, two people, one use uh, maybe cutlass, which is which is blunt, you know, and the other one takes a lot of time to sharpen the cutlass. A lot of people will say that, why are you wasting your time? Just go and cut the tree. But the one who is sharpening the cutlass will cut the tree with less stress and even faster because you, it takes time to acquire knowledge. It takes time to build knowledge. And most people are in haste of life. They are in haste of life. You want to build a business, but you don't have time for knowledge acquisition. You don't have time to, to sharpen your tools. You think that you just have to go. So you just rush, go everywhere, and 10 years, you still don't see anything because the essence of life is acquisition of knowledge. Knowledge, understanding, wisdom, they run in circle. You can't separate one from the other <laughs> a lot of the times. You can't separate one because wisdom is an expression of knowledge that you have. Understanding is same, applying the knowledge to change lives of people. You know, they can teach me how to drive in the classroom. You can teach me that. But until I hit the road and take the courage, it's not, I don't have an understanding of that knowledge that they taught me about car. You know, the ability, the courage to start anything is expressed in the wisdom that you have. You know, express your ability to take decision on the knowledge that you have acquired. Start something, set it on fire. That is uh, wisdom. They, a lot of us will go to churches, you know, Christians. We talk about grace. And if you are in Ghana, uh, grace is, is like drinking water. Anybody that you, are, you talk to them, they say, by the grace of God, grace is a function of knowledge. The, the, the favor that you experience among men. For instance, you have a business. A lot of the times, those who that you show them favor are those that have some level of wisdom. They listen to you. They do extra. They go the extra mile. That's why you show favor to them. They, 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 it's not the one who is stealing from you. It's not the one who is lazy. It's not the one who doesn't care about the business. It's the same. Grace is an expression of you applying the knowledge that you have. Perseverance, honesty, hard work, productivity. That's how grace functions. The family that you have, the head that you have, the business that you're aware, you're, you're, you're working on, the, the, the goals that you set for yourself, the most important thing is getting the right knowledge about those. If you don't acquire the right knowledge, life becomes frustrating. Anything that you have failed in is because the knowledge that you have there was not strong enough to get you the success in that. All of us. Because life actually is about learning. And the more you are, you are on the track of learning that which you need to learn. For instance, somebody wants to go to Kumasi from Accra, but, but he's on the road to Cape Coast. <laughs> uh, you know, so you have to have the relevant knowledge to get to where you're going. And on your road, on the way going there, still ask, find. And they say that if you ask, <laughs> you will find. You know, so my name is Obin Dauk. I'm talking about knowledge. Knowledge is light. The expression of your life, the, the, the success that you're seeing, the encouragement. The light of your life is the knowledge that you possess. Never, never put knowledge somewhere. Every day you are looking for knowledge. You are searching. Look for knowledge to build your life. Learn to do well. Learn to do well. This is something that is so uh, dear. A lot of us make decisions based on what people told us and we didn't even search them. We didn't even find out. You know, most people have built their lives in beliefs that don't produce any results. Knowledge is, li is life. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is light. You know, you cannot do well in this life if you don't have knowledge. It's very difficult to do well in anything. In your health, in your finances, in your business, in, uh, 
in your marriage in your family anything in even building a company building a, a country building anything in this life you cannot do well if you're in darkness knowledge is that which switch on the light <laughs> you know when let's say you are in in a, in a, in a place where there is treasure they have put some diamonds some gold somewhere in a room and you enter there and there is it's full of darkness you will never see that until you put on the light and you see the treasure that is there they said and that's why sometimes when you talk to people they said that after after I, I, you know i listened to you for a while i started to think i started to see because all of us we have what it takes to change, to change our lives the, the the problem is not having the right knowledge not having the right knowledge the moment you have the right knowledge promise you will find that treasure and that treasure is in all of us that which shows you the treasure that which brings you the awareness that this is the treasure that you have is the knowledge the knowledge of self the knowledge that you have what it takes to build your life from where you are to where you want to go the knowledge that your life is in your hands and you can be successful if you learn the tools of success if you learn the elements required to succeed in anything you can be a great leader you can be a great politician you can be a great preacher you can build anything you want to build if you learn the knowledge in that and indeed knowledge is actually god <laughs> because god is, you cannot you, you know you know you know that comes from what knowledge know god know know something you know so uh, if you're not in your life is about knowing your life is about learning so every day you're studying you're asking you are, you know i go to a lot of youtube channels watch a lot my favorite subjects are history technology system leadership I'm learning about real estate i'm learning about entrepreneurship i'm learning about africa i'm learning about women i'm learning about how to do well as a husband i'm learning about marriage i'm learning about everything you know um how do you stay with life is constantly changing the, the lady that you met 10 years ago five years ago is not the same you are not even the same person constantly you're changing knowledge actually is currency it's current it flows it cannot stay it cannot stay if your knowledge is stagnant you will stink it must flow and that's what life is about so life really is the seed of life the seed that which is required for you to do well is knowledge you cannot do what you don't know and if you want to change a man's life change the knowledge that the, the man has about himself change the knowledge that the woman has about herself that is it any or any one of us can be great at anything that we apply ourselves to if you get enough knowledge and we build enough expertise enough skill and we commit to it and we persevere nothing cannot be done anybody any group any family any any entity that wants to do well must go for knowledge life is not left to chances life is not lent left to magic life as, as we have it in our hands it's built on knowledge you know so if you have not built your life on knowledge if you're not acquiring if you're not pursuing and a lot of us as africans especially uh, book is not on our table book many of us don't have any timetable to read books for life we, we, we read books to do to write as to become a good you know surgeon good engineer you know good lawyer but life as in life your life building your life you know put your life in your hand, own hands knowing what to do building anything your finances your family uh, changing the community building the country developing the people coming up with your own understanding of life uh, and constantly studying most of us you know and uh, they say around the world the reason most people majority of people go through life in pain is because they don't look for knowledge they don't they live their lives anyhow they have time to go to work they have time to watch the movie they have time to um, you know go anywhere go for the party go for the weddings and that's all but they don't have time to polish their mind to sharpen their tool and that which you need to sharpen your tool is knowledge knowledge is power knowledge is light any progress that you see the seed of it there is knowledge your expression of the knowledge that you have your peace your happiness your prosperity your fulfillment in life your sense of purpose how you treat people how you do your things how you anything that you do is based on the knowledge that you have if you're in darkness that's the kind of knowledge that you cannot see because of the problem that we have is knowledge ignorance is our problem that's our only problem
So my name is Obinda Ko. I want to say thank you very much. Good for knowledge. It's everything. Thank you. What you want your life uh, to be a lost. Life is so much. We are on the same page. Everyone.